Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to day two of Disney Vlogs. Uh, so we've got back into Magic Kingdom already. Uh, we're with my friend Paul. He's Hi, here. Good morning. And my mum again. Um, and we're here watching the Lion King Jungle Parade, which is about to start in like two seconds. <laughs> Oh, my lady! 
hi to my friend Paul because he is working today. So now we're just taking a little walk around. We went and got fast passes for Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blaster. Because what we realized was that we actually didn't even set foot into Tomorrowland yesterday at all. Whoa. In Orlando it's called Tomorrowland, here it's called Discovery Land. Um, but it's space. Oh, she dropped a jacket. But Space Mountain here is called Hyperspace Mountain, but it's closed. Um, so this land isn't really as busy as the majority of places is today. I didn't know that they had a Star Wars ride here too. I don't know if it's new. I'm not really that into Star Wars, though, I'm not going to Maybe have never seen the movies. Never Are seen Star Wars movies. I know Stitch is right in front of us and he's running away. I'm going to run after him. I'm going to run after him. He's right there. <laughs> so while we're waiting on our fast pass entry, it's 10 past 1, so it's now just before 12, uh, for Buzz Lightyear, we've come back into Fantasyland. And I'm gonna drag my mom on her favorite ride. It's a small world after all. Well, I mean, she hates the song because it gets stuck in your head. Um, it sticks in your head the whole day. Yeah, but I don't know how big the line's gonna be. As long as it's less than an hour, we'll make it. Yeah. So we'll see, because this is quite close to the entrance to Discovery. Yeah, exactly. okay. We should make it, so let's see. <laughs> Well, it's only a 20 minute wait, so it's not too bad. Join the queue. We're gonna have a song stuck in our heads for the rest of the day. <laughs>
Très bien. Vos rangers de l'espace, écoutez à ton vie. Zerg, le bon qui nous est le générateur de prise confusion pour alimenter. Italian dreams for lunch. <laughs> yum yum yum. <laughs> I agree, you were an amazing mum. You still are. Best mum ever. Even though you couldn't do a French plate in my hair. I know. Maddest mum ever couldn't do a French plate. And now you ask me to put one in your hair every single day. <laughs> right, we're now heading on to this little, um, it's like a little storybook ride. Uh, it doesn't exist in Orlando, it only exists in Paris. Um, but you basically go on little boats and you go through like little kind of fairy tale scenes. It's quite nice. We didn't have to wait too long, which is good. Um, it's around the back of uh, Fantasyland here. I always forget that it's here because it's under the bridge and stuff. Um, just so I always forget that it's here. So yeah, we're gonna head on that. So it's all like little miniatures. So there's Snow White. There's Dopey. Where's he? There he is. And then Snow White's cottage. Rapunzel, Hansel and Gretel, got the little mermaid right in front of us, what's this? Mount Olympus? Mm-hmm. Where? We're gonna go on that after. The Cave of Wonders from Aladdin. This is cool. It's like you're in the Cave of Wonders. That's cool. All the walls are all glittery. That's cool. I think the instrumental from Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorites. Featuring Little Duck. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Yeah, the instrumental from Beauty and the Beast I love. It's so emotional. The train at all times. This one's clearly made for children. Some new places, <laughs> I don't it's know crazy. if we're gonna be able to get back up again. Like, look how close oh, our feet. It's like. <laughs> You know when you go to like a nursery school and like there's little, like the tiny little toilets that are built for toddlers? Yeah. Or the little seats where you go. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go off on this spectacular circus circus train ride. Yes. We did, but we were here. Paul. I didn't go there when I came with my boyfriend Paul. But the last time we were here visiting my friend Paul, we did go there. This is just maddeningly confusing already. Just follow you. So we found the caterpillar. He's here. Now, I will be honest with you, Alice in Wonderland is not one of my favorite Disney movies when I was younger, and still isn't. It's just creepy. Like, it just, like, the little girl gets lost, goes somewhere, she has no idea where she is, or who she is, or how to get home, and it's just so trippy. I just didn't like it. It's never my favorite. So we didn't realize that actually the, this, this is like a small kind of castle thing in the middle. It's actually close to the ship. I didn't realize, but it's okay. There were a lot of people in there. This is a very small space with a lot of people. So you tell them that it's Scottish schools are off on vacation now. <laughs> My accent's coming back, coming back so strong. It is Pete. <laughs> 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 guy behind us all weird. Got it! Got it! Well, yes, got some quality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna try and go on Big Thunder Mountain before the parade is on at four. We're gonna go see the, the jungle parade one more time because we love it that much. So I totally forgot to show you guys, but yesterday my mum bought me some Mickey Mouse earrings. I don't know if you can see them. I've got them in today. I literally have no idea what I'm filming. I hope I'm filming my ears. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Mum. You're welcome. They're very, very sweet. And yeah, I'm sure you can find them at Shop Disney, which is the online store. Um, they also have mini ones. I don't know if I filmed them yesterday. Did I film them yesterday? What was that? Did I film the earrings? I think maybe I filmed them. But there's ones that are, are mini ears and they have the bow, and I just got the ones that are just Mickey's. Um, but if you're in the park, then they sell them at the Merlin L'Enchanteur, which is like Merlin the Sorcerer yes. shop in the castle. Okay, so this, we're about to do something that we haven't never done at Disney in any of our. How many visits did we say we had to do? 11 visits together. And either of our listeners. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> We've never done this on any visit, either me with other people, my mom, ladies, It's the shooting art gallery in Frontierland. And my mom thinks she's going to be amazing at it, but she's got no glasses on. So she can't even see the targets. <laughs> Try the thing on top of the wee wagon hazel. Um, 
the the one with the hose because it lights up. Yeah, look, you got the fox. Yeah, like you got the fox. <laughs> the back. You are. Not like honey the gun. <laughs> I said I'm not. I'm getting impressed with myself there. <laughs> finished watching the parade for the fourth time. <laughs> I think that's us done now. Um, so we're just kind of having a little wander around enjoying it. We've got some bits and bobs that we want to buy because Disney shopping is the best shopping even though it leaves you completely bankrupt. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but we passed by Pirates of the Caribbean. We can't see me. We passed by Pirates of the Caribbean and we saw that it's only a 20 minute wait. So we've decided to come in and do it again. Yes, that's not a 20 minute wait. No. <laughs> Just from where the queues are now, it's probably like a 40, 40 minute wait, yeah, at least. Um, so I'm just going to fill up my water bottle and then we're going to go and see the Indiana Jones roller coaster, which we will not be going on because I don't like <laughs> roller coasters that go upside down and that one goes upside down. Uh, but my mom's never seen it, so we're just going to go take a walk, have a look, see what it's like, and then shopping. Yeah, so when I was here with my boyfriend two years ago, he dragged me on the Indiana Jones ride. I was getting this closer. Um, and I cried before I went on it because I really don't like roller coasters that go upside down. And thankfully he did feel bad though. <laughs> he did feel bad. But no, it wasn't, uh, wasn't fun. Yeah, so I'm definitely the kind of person that comes to a theme park. Not necessarily Disney because there's so many rides and attractions to do that don't go upside down. Um, but I'm the person that comes to like do the shows and see the sights and eat the food and shop the shops. And uh, it'll be great when I'm a mum because then I can wait with the bags. Yeah. I'd be like, I'll wait with the pram and the bags. On you go, go, Dad. So yeah, then I'll have an excuse instead of just I'm just scared I can't go on it. The temple of the Pearl. See, even the name of it, Indiana Jones, the temporal temple, the temple of peril. Not something I want to be putting my body in. Thank you very much. No. <laughs> so this is it. Star spotted. I found Moana. I found Moana. I'm loving all of the Lion King and Jungle Book merchandise that they have out now for the new festival. There's so much of it. Like all of the t-shirts. And even this is the one that I want. I really want to get this one. My mom's gonna get this one. 
but they're all really really nice there was a whole shop as well on the other side that had more uh, different types of styles of t-shirts that aren't here this one's nice too circle of life so my mum didn't end up getting the scar t-shirt bless her because she thought that it made her seem too rude that she didn't want to be around people <laughs> saying that they were idiots but I got this really nice Mickey Mouse bag reusable bag because they don't do plastic anymore so well done Disney well done if anyone is into reusable straws I would highly recommend the selection by Disney I mean yeah technically they're still plastic but it's better if you can get reusable ones I used to have ones like this when I was a kid and I loved having them in my drinks I think I had three or four and I always always had them whenever I had dinner we saw a little girl wearing this Jessie outfit yesterday and she was so cute. Jessie the cowgirl, she even had cowboys and everything. It was adorable. So here's more of the Lion King Jungle Festival merchandise. T-shirts are really, really cool. And I'm going to get this mug. Because it's going to be limited edition. Thank you, Mum. Such a help. Oh, look, getting all the angles. There we go. Careful to break it so as you smash it. <laughs> Calm down. But I really like this one as well because it just says life is a gift. I think it's very sweet. We also have it on a t-shirt too. And there's loads and loads of phone cases but none of them are for androids which is annoying. Otherwise I'd get one. I think if I could have all the crockery in my house just as Disney, I would. <laughs> because why not? So I also picked up this little Marie keychain for my mum, but it's a surprise. She can't know. I sent it away. Oh God, the parade's just ended. Oh no, we're walking into the fray. It's too many people. Ah. So we've come over to Discoveryland to the Constellations store to get some Marvel stuff for my mum's friends and for a couple of my very young cousins. They really like this stuff. But it's a cool shop. So we were just passing uh, down Main Street and then we saw that Winnie the Pooh is coming. Uh, so decided to stop and meet Winnie the Pooh. Why not? Here's Winnie. <laughs> oh, he's here. Yay! Surprise in the bag, which is fine. Not that one, it's smaller than that, but it's wrapped up the same. Alright, okay. Oh, I found something. What did you find? I've left my mum on Main Street to soak up the last of the sun before she goes back to Scotland and I've come for a mooch around the stores but I love these little pillows, they're so soft they're, they're genuine pillows, like Stitch is sleeping and stuff and this is the mo pig from Moana but they, stretch, they become really big pillows, like they're actually quite thick and stuff they're so cute, if only I could get it on the plane he's so cute I love these little Alice in Wonderland teapots and crockery. So cute. Can you imagine pulling this out at a dinner party? Like, yeah, I'll pour you some tea. This is something so sweet that I actually saw yesterday in Disney fashion, and it's Todd from Fox and the Hound. Like, if anyone is old enough to know and love the Fox and the Hound as much as I do, this is so sweet. And we also have mugs. Oh, what's this? This is like a cup and saucer. This, oh, that's so cute. We have the angry owl that's in it as well at the bottom. And then these little mugs with Todd. Oh, they're so cute. I want it all and I can fit it in hand luggage. 
Disney is just amazing for all of these little details. Like this sweet shop, not only does it smell freaking incredible, but look at it, it just looks, it just makes you want to eat sweet treats. It's so vintage and so cute and love it. I love it. I want to live here. Seriously, how does anyone who has a baby come into Disney and not spend all of their money? Like, I don't even have kids and I want all of this, like this little Dumbo. How cute would a child look at this? Like, I can't handle it. Oh, and the little Dalmatian. Oh. Okay, I need to stop or my ovaries are gonna explode. Oh my god, the Simba. Okay, this is too much. This is too much. I'm done. Kingdom or Disneyland Park? Yes. You're roasting, you were sitting in the sun. It's lovely. <laughs> Just letting you soak into my clothes. Uh, so, yes, and I were going to head out. We're going to go to the big Disney store, the world of Disney that's out in the Disney Village. Uh, I didn't really get anything at the shops here. I just had a look around. It was very busy. I think everyone's had the same idea. It is everyone who's leaving the park now, like for dinner, I mean, it's 20 to 8, so everyone that's leaving is kind of gone to get all their souvenirs. At this time, so maybe it's not the best time to go shopping, but it's fine. So yeah, we're saying goodbye to the castle once again. Bye, Smitty and Mickey. It's fine. We'll be back. Until, until we'll next be back. time. Until next time, Disney. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna go to the big world of Disney, and then we're meeting my friend Paul again for dinner. So we're gonna do that, and hopefully we're back at the hotel a little bit earlier, because I am shattered, and we need to fly home tomorrow. It's been such a quick weekend. Like, I flew in. But it's been lovely. You were late in getting in, though. Yeah, I got in about midnight, midnight, midnight the day before yesterday. We came to Disney yesterday morning. We were in for the park opening. We stayed for the fireworks last night, got back after midnight again, and then it's been a full day again today, and we fly back tomorrow. I need to leave the hotel at half past 12. I go home, and then I start back work again the next morning, so. Well, see, that's the joys of being tired. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. But it's been fun. It's definitely it's nice that we can do this, that we can come, like, just the two of us, and I think that's something that I'm really grateful for, the fact that I do have a single mother, and I'm an only child, <laughs> that we have such a good friendship as well. Like, we have such a good relationship together that, yeah, we'll fight and we'll spat and we'll argue, but I think we normal. love each other more than anything. Like, she's my travel buddy. Like, I... Yep. Would no, I was almost about to say I'd rather try I wouldn't travel with anyone else, but no, that's a bit of a kick in the teeth to my boyfriend. Yeah. But no, like she's my best friend. You're my best friend. Aww, isn't that nice? And I have to be Okay. Do you know what's any different, Mum? Yeah, a different t-shirt on? Yeah. Do you not think I noticed? No, you didn't see anything. <laughs> I didn't comment, <laughs> but I did notice. It's lovely. Yeah. Thanks. Pre-mark, like four pounds or yeah. four euros. <laughs> Still the Mickey Mouse's. And I've seen several people wearing it today. Yes. Oh my god, the park has been full of Scottish people today. Like, I've heard Scottish accents everywhere. That's why my accents come back. If anyone who watches these vlogs normally and thinks I sound different, that is why. <laughs> this is my accent coming back, but it's not as strong as it was six years no. ago. So I'm sure you can still understand me. Um, so no. You want to head into, if you want cheap Disney stuff, then head into Primark because they they do have such a good selection. Like if, yeah, it's good if I I always go into Primark for Disney stuff, especially the pajamas. Like I cannot get enough of Disney pajamas. In fact, I think they're the only pajamas I have in my drawer. I don't think I have anything yeah. else. So yeah, uh, catching the last rays of sunlight. This is a nice temperature though. Before I go back to like the baking heat of yeah, so the of the south of France, like this has been a nice change. Like it's been so lovely and sunny. Oh, it's been a nice temperature with like a little breeze. I'd say it's been between like like 25, sometimes 30 degrees, like the middle of the day. But like now it's nice. The last two days are definitely cooler than it was the first day arrived. The first day arrived was about 40 degrees. Okay, well, that's a lot. But all of it was roasted. All right, what time is it? I'll need to send Paul a message and let him know to yeah. meet us at World of Disney. All right, World of Disney time. Mm -hmm. There's so many Aladdin things because the new. God, that's a horrible face on Jafar. Because the new movie's out. Raja. What have I got to remember? That it's new to all these kids. Kind of things that are going up. No, I know. I still think Robin Williams, I'm sorry. I know. I'm so happy that they fixed the faces on their Barbie dolls. I felt like for years and years and years the faces were terrible. 
Like for years the faces were just really but back to the old like generic and stuff. Like but these faces are actually good. Like I'm glad that finally the faces look like real dolls again. And not just creepy plastic bubble heads. As grass then he's gonna end up coming with us now. <laughs> I'm so full. Just finished dinner. Nice dinner. Where in was this place called? King Ludovic's Castle? King Ludovic's Castle is where we are. And it's very themed. There's a, some nice standards on the ceiling and a knight in the middle of the room. But the food was good. Yeah, so I think we're just going to head to that place. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Drop that. Clap your hands now. Can you imagine? Jesus, we're even dreaming. Ah! <laughs> Don't drop that. That would be quite funny. Hazel, if you bought it, they actually dropped it. Oh, yeah. No, that would not be funny because it would go all over. <laughs> Professionals at balancing. No, so I think we're gonna go and um, I want to have a little look in some of the shops across the way before we go. And then I think we're just gonna head back to the hotel because it's Hi. starting to get late. Okay. And Keep forgetting this thing. Well, it's half nine. <laughs> That's late to me because the traffic was about like nine every night. I know. Right. Time to go and see some of the last shows. But before I do that, I want to say thank you to Paul yes. for getting us our tickets. You're more than welcome, but there's no need to thank me. <laughs> <laughs> and for letting us in, as always. He's so sweet. He's the best. The two people sitting beside me, my mum and Paul, are the biggest people watchers I've ever met in my life. Tell them the so All I do is sit and observe other people and then comment on it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So I'm trying to find a toy for a child. Bringing back some gifts for my friends' kids. Shouldn't be too hard. This place is full of toys, right? Full of toys. I'm actually obsessed by all of these Fox and the Hound things. Like you never ever see Fox and the Hound. And these pajamas are really expensive, but I think I'm gonna get them because it's just too cute. And the trousers are so sweet as well. I can't resist. I've caved, I'm buying them. They're gonna be absolutely no use to me whatsoever in Nice for like a good four months, but hey. Can't put a price on happiness, right? All right guys, so it's the end of the day. It's just after 10. We're waiting on the bus to head back to the hotel now, uh, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I didn't finish the vlog last night, but it ended with fireworks, and that's because I ran out of battery on both my camera and my phone. Um, so that's why I didn't end the vlog yesterday. Uh, so yeah, just going to end it here. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed these last two days of vlogs from Disney. God knows I have enjoyed filming them because, I mean, Who Disney's, like Disney? Disney's just incredible. And it's been amazing to spend some time with my mum, as always, and with my friend Paul. Yeah. So as always guys, if you enjoyed these vlogs then please give it a thumbs up below, hit subscribe if you want to see some more and I will see you guys the next time I make a video. Bye!